as long as everything goes well, which I don't see why it wouldn't. Psych, I lied. Welcome back to another episode of Horsepower and Pizza. Kind of sad, but we have to move on in life. So this is my 2008, oh, look at that E30. This is my 2008 335 Xi. It's clean as hell. I basically like rebuilt the car, brand new turbos, like new everything. Wheels are sick. I'm gonna miss those things. I'm gonna miss this thing's stance. Like, ah, oh, me saying this now is like, I don't know. But what I'm replacing this with, which will be later to come in this video. So in 10 days, I should have something to replace this. It's an E92 M3. Psych, I lied. Fresh oil change, coolant, going over everything, giving the car a good nut and bolt check. But I'm really gonna miss this thing. It's fast, like any 335 is. But I think when I am driving the E92 M3, I'm not gonna regret it because it's the same car, but it's not the same car. It's a seven speed DCT. Basically the whole story is, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It's some old boomer that has it. I know, dude has had it, he's a businessman. He's had it for 12 years, the car's 12 years old. So that means he's bought it brand new. It's been serviced at a BMW dealership all of its life, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I got a really good deal on it. It's insane. We're gonna be driving down to Maryland on the 16th. I'm skipping school. I'm driving down to Maryland to buy one of my dream cars, uh, which is kind of insane. 19 years old. It doesn't seem real. Life is crazy sometimes. Yeah, this is my school. I hate it. This is my last drive with the 335. It's kind of a big, bittersweet moment. This car was like a major milestone when I got it. Well, I bought this car right when I turned 18. I like rebuilt the damn thing. New turbos, new everything. I'll walk you guys around the car here. So I just have it idling here. Shout out to Bailey. The car is overall pretty clean the interior is beautiful in it. but yeah this thing will be missed n54 you know typical stuff intake charge pipe intercooler catless down pipes except it's not tuned right now all new cooling lines all new just a little bit of oil i just did an oil change on it this thing will be missed probably take this thing on its one last rip yeah hopefully this video is finished up with a uh 9000 rpm four liter v8 this thing has definitely been an amazing car to me it's only left me on the road once i bought a cheap front right axle and the axle was too short when you lower an x drive car or any four wheel drive your any car your axle actually like comes up typically if you have proper length in it, it it'll be fine but because those axles weren't manufactured to the proper length it pulled out of the inner cv joint when i hit a bump then the axle came apart brand spanking new axle i don't think that axle was in there for even a week that's the only time it left me on the road every single time i get in this car press the button and it starts up. Although that's because I did like all the work to it that needed to be done. But everybody that says you can't daily drive a 335, you are wrong. It's very doable, as long as you aren't an idiot. I'll probably film when the dude drives off with it. Psych, I lied. But that'll be sad. Pick up another E92. But this one's, this one's a bit special. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking about it because if that deal falls through, I don't, I don't want to like look back and be like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Shoot, what day is it? Is it 24th? Earlier, you guys saw me sell the 335. I like forgot about that car already. It's been so long, even though it's only been like two weeks. I was supposed to buy another car. I had it lined up. I was gonna buy an E92 M3, DCT, stripper package, carbon fiber roof. Damn, my hair is crazy right now. That fell through. Unfortunately, dude was a complete asshole, had everything set up. I even tried to send him money and he's like, he's like, no, it's good, blah, 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 blah. So last Thursday on the 17th, I had it set up to come down there and buy the car. I was gonna drive down to Maryland. It was in Upper Co, Maryland. Drive down to Maryland with my dad. He'd follow me back in the car. I had this set up for two weeks, but he was on a business trip, so I couldn't go out and buy the car. Dude knew I was gonna come by the car. I'm like, do you want cash? Do you want a cashier's check? Blah, 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 what do you want? Um, and I told him, I'm like, I'm when I go down there, I'm buying it. I'm not messing around. Um, I'll probably have Bailey like put pictures of like the text messages because it was so f***ed up what he did. Sent him a text right before I got to the gym. I'm like, oh, this was on Wednesday, the 16th. Like, all right, I'm all ready to 
go, got cash in my hand. Me and my dad are gonna leave here around seven o'clock in the morning. We'll be down there around 12. He wanted to meet at noon. I got a text later that night around eight. He said, sorry to inform you, but I sold the car. I just needed to get rid of it. And I'm like, I had everything set up. I was ready to come down. He, he's like, oh, I didn't want to hassle around anymore. And I'm like, dude, you didn't have to hassle around. I was going to be down there with cash, ready to buy the car. Yeah, so I got over on that one. And then I was left without a car. Then I was searching for a car. I was about to buy this one seven series. Dude wouldn't respond to me. I bought something just as cool as the E92 M3. Some might think it's a better car. Some might think the E92 M3 is a better car, but there it is. I bought a 2002, which was the year I was born, E46 M3. No, 130,000 miles. It's beautiful. Doesn't leak any oil. Vanus has been, been done. Apparently the rod bearings have been done, but I don't have any proof of them. So I might just do them myself because they're only like 600 bucks and I can do it in the weekend. Just so I have peace of mind when I'm at eight and a half thousand RPMs. Rear subframe, apparently it's not cracked. I'm probably gonna drop the rear subframe, do the bushings, weld that all up just to, and then do that X brace thing in the back just to give it more reinforcement. Don't mind my messy garage. I drove it back all the way from Detroit. See, it's on teen lowering springs with Bilstein shocks. It rides pretty nice. Probably gonna put it on KWs. Here's the carbon fiber CSL trunk. Absolutely hate this thing. I think it's hideous. I'm either gonna sell it or get it painted white. Best part about the car. It's a six speed. And it's red interior. Beautiful but it has a 330 wheel on it. Somebody took the M3 wheel off of it and put a 330 wheel on it. I can't stand that wheel. That thing needs to go. S54, baby, with a six speed. And no sunroof. Car's a slick top car, has Alcantara on the A pillars and B pillars. Headliner, beautiful. Boom. Um, car has a couple cosmetic issues. There's paint chip there, which I'm gonna get fixed paint chip there. Oh, and this lip. I don't know about that lip. It's kind of ugly. It's kind of growing on me though. Like, look at this view. I come out to like E30 and an E46 M3. S54. Here, I'll get you guys a light. And meanwhile, I did drive this car for 300 miles back from upper Lanks 8 Claire. So past Detroit, this thing, is beautiful. Look at this. New hoses, new belts, new coolant expansion tank. Dude replaced the secondary air pump, which I'm gonna remove. This thing's bone stock. It does have a rear muffler on it. Sounds horrible. I'm gonna make my own exhaust and my own headers. I'm gonna be selling them. Another thing I'll be selling is S54 trumpets to go open trumpet with because the stock air box doesn't cut it. Uh, it doesn't sound as cool as it can, so I'm gonna go open trumpets with mesh filters. That'll be sick. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the car. I'm probably gonna upgrade the brakes to 135 brakes. It had ESRs or whatever on it, and they're like fake three-piece wheels, horrible. I have stock wheels that came with it, which is beautiful. And they're the 19 stock wheels, because as many of you know, these style, I forget what they're called. These are the 19s, which makes the car look way better. I might keep these for a little bit, or I might just go to style 95s and paint them white. So I'll have white on white. Goes with the E30 pretty well. White coupe, black coupe. But yeah, as you guys can see, I still haven't washed it after the drive home from Detroit. Next video should be an exhaust video on the E30, or it's gonna be an M3 video. But I thank you guys for watching. Said bye-bye to the 335 in this video, kinda sad. Oh, maybe I should put the style 32s on it, but they're in 17, so it wouldn't look good. See you guys later.